speaking of Ole Anderson, uh, you had a lot of experience with him, uh, especially in the Atlanta territory. Uh, why do you think he was such a good booker? Ole Anderson had had a good head on on his shoulder, and uh, uh, even though he talked very brass and everything, he was a very humble man. And uh, Ole didn't mind putting over. Uh, he was about making money. He wasn't about. He was not a glory hound. Like for example, if uh, if, if you could pack. Uh, pack the arena, then Ole gonna go out there and jaw for you. He will lay down for you. He ain't such a glory hound where he feel that he have to win every match. You know, if if, if uh, he would sacrifice himself to make money, you know, the glory was not as important as, as the uh, uh, the money to him. Just like people don't realize the four horsemen was Ole Anderson's idea. You go back again. Uh, we talk about. Uh, 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 WCW. Ole Anderson started WCW. They kicked him out later. Georgia Championship Wrestling. What made that so successful was Ole Anderson. And among the Anderson team, G, uh, first they were Gene and Lars Anderson. Where they were uh, mediocre. Gene was always a great, great, and Lars, they both were great wrestlers. But it really didn't get the real popularity until Ole Anderson came along. And you know, the, the favorite Ole Anderson and Ric Flair, you know, go back for generations. But Ole was just a very, very smart individual. He had a good head on his shoulder for the wrestling business. Could you tell the story about him and the karate guy in the gym? Well, one time I was in the gym there, and this guy, in the olden days, guys used to always come and talk about wrestling and fake, wrestling and fake, and everything. Da, 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 da. And Ole said, I'll tell you what, kid, that karate you do ain't worth a crap in my business. So the guy said, well, you don't want me to hit you one of my, with one of my punches. And Ole said, I'll take any punch you got. So Ole walked away from the guy. So the guy thought Ole was afraid. So then Ole came back about five minutes later, and he told the guy, he, he had his shirt set. Come on, I'm, he said, I don't believe in that karate. Go ahead and show me, kid. You know, show, show me what you got. So that guy drew back and gave and, and hauled out and gave Ole a, the, the one of the, his best punches right in the right in the midsection. Wham! The guy broke his hand. Ole lifted his shirt, took a twenty-five pound plate from under his shirt and dropped it on the floor. So that karate ain't all that good, ain't it, kid? That's hilarious. He put a forty, he put a twenty-five pound plate under underneath his shirt. The guy hit that plate and broke his hand. Ha! <laughs>